the sword of the Guardian, used by Horus to defeat Set once before. Now one of his followers, Kamsit, seeks to take it. Kamsit? He is your enemy. He has captured a temple to Osiris near here. There is a Guardian at the temple, but it sleeps. If we return the sword to the Guardian, it will awaken. It seems the gods have smiled on us. Alrighty, face, I got a nice cheeky way to win this mission on Titan. Gary, the oasis village near here is loyal to the Dark God set. They enslave other local villagers to mine gold for Kemset. So this actually, in like initial part, is actually the hardest part of the mission um, with this tactic. And it's all about just picking your battles, making sure Amara doesn't jump in. Help us escape our captors! A bunch of enemies. And rile the entire camp. Tell you what, poison is the biggest challenge in this mission, both just in general from the Anubites and also from um, the Scorpion Men. Scorpion Men are savage. Losing a hero isn't really that big a problem because they just res up anyway. Free at last! Please guide us safely home and we will offer you what help we can. So picking up the relic down here just triggers a big um, army of mummies. So we're actually not going to do that right away. We will be picking the relic up, but not initially. At least not until we've transported the villages and keeping the villages alive is the goal. Now mummies also poison. And that can be the end of a run quite easily. Serpents! Okay, I'm now gonna grab Caron. Grab this and run. Don't have to worry about the mummies anymore because I'm not going to come back this way. And that is the hard part of this mission done. Look! Our men have returned! Thank you, strangers. Kemsit forced us from our home, the sacred city of the Guardian. We will join you to defeat him! Kemsit's army is returning to the city. Only the neighboring villages stand in his way. Bring the sword to the sleeping guardian before his army reaches it. We just want food and gold, basically, is what we're gunning for. These guys... Mine. Unimpeded. We don't really need much wood, to be honest, but it's, it's worth getting a little bit. And also cast heal. Oh, 
you. So three fishing ships is all we need. Kemsi's army has reached the first village. Basically just racing through the ages. That's what we're doing. Once we hit three, that's when we can end the mission. A very specific unit. We can invoke rain from Ra. That's good to do. Speeds up. Econ. But it is mostly food that we need and a little bit of gold. I'm also going to build a um, barracks when I'm able to. Okay, we want to use Bast because of Sacred Cats and uh, this basically increases gold and wood production. I'm going to need a few troops to help defend against the relentless attacks that the enemy throws at us. Priests are actually good because they're good against mythic units or myth units. Which is primarily what we'll be fighting against. Uh, we need to build an armory or a marketplace, either or. But armory is probably better for us. Of my villagers. And that damage this poison stuff does. Woof. Okay, so we need 800, 500, and we just need to build this, and we're basically done. Oh, I need to build a uh, armory. Sorry. Okay, and we are going for Sobek. Although in truth it doesn't really matter. You get a rock either way, I believe. So we probably want to defend the next attack, depending on how quickly the rock gets here. Essentially, we're just going to go for an obscure pattern to get to get the sword belt to where it needs to go. That should be the last major fight, really. And the AoE poison is ridiculous. That's why I don't particularly want to do a stand straight up game on this one. We can, we absolutely can. And if you guys want to see me showcase that, I'm happy to do so. But this is uh, this is the tactic that works better. Hell of a lot faster, a lot more convenient, easier to pull off. Just better in general. Yeah, 
as soon as we hit age up, we'll pretty much be good to rock and roll. This all works because of this beautiful creature. Load up everyone onto this. We'll need a strong force to escort the sword bearers to the Guardian. Just need to take a little bit of a wide berth. I'm a golden. So we need, I've already hotkeyed um, the sword bearer in a separate unit, and we just need to get him on that little area there. Priests, if you go down the left route, the priest will absolutely destroy you. But on the right hand route, there are no priests, or there's very few. None that can take you out, let's put it that way. We want to be loading somewhere around here, basically, just beyond the wall, or beyond the gate. Protect the sword bearers. The Guardian awakes. Now, basically, the sword bearer basically does all the work. Or the, the Guardian, I should say. It's pretty much indestructible <laughs> compared to what they have. And that's the easy mode. Doesn't even matter if you lose all your heroes at this point. The only thing that matters is the Guardian. The priests are healing it as well, which super helps. But he can literally one shot anything and everything. And that, boys and girls, is the easy mode for this game. Or well, this mission, I should say. Just realised I forgot to put the relic off as well. Not that it matters, as I say, we're not doing like a standard run. But, yeah, there we have it, folks. There we have it. And just kill these guys and that's it, GG. This statue thing better swing a mean sword, that's all I have to say. Oh, he does. He's swinging, boys, he's swinging. And he's literally healing <laughs> at this point. So yeah, the uh, the goal of the game is just to kill Red, which activates as soon as you uh, pick up the Guardian. Lovely, lovely. Cheeky little tactic, all thanks to a beautiful creature called the Rock. Et voila! Alrighty folks, well that right about do it for this short video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you want to see me run this particular mission on the more traditional way, then please do let me know. I'm happy to do so. And uh, yeah, until the next video, I shall see you then.